Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, I will go over Snowflake web interface. In this module, I will I will show you how to create a warehouses, databases, tables, and how to how to drop the data warehouses, how to drop the tables, and how do we run the queries in Snowflake and also I'll show you how to check the history like you know all the queries that we done and also I will show you how to create tables and clone the tables and drop the tables and uh, like you know in this web interface we will learn everything so once we logged into the Snowflake web-based graphical interface. We can create and manage all Snowflake objects, including virtual warehouses, databases, and all database objects. So I will log into Snowflake web interface now. I'm in the Snowflake uh, web interface page, uh, Snowflake account. So I will just enter my username. and password to log into Snowflake account. Now I logged into Snowflake account. So I'm inside this Snowflake account, so I will go to the warehouses. Uh, first, before I create warehouse, I want to give you guys some more details. We can also use the interface to load limited amounts of data into tables execute ad hoc queries and perform other DML DDL operations and view past queries. And the web interface is where we can change our Snowflake user password and specify other preferences uh, such as our email addresses. So now I will show you, I will create a sample data warehouse. So if we want to create a data warehouse, I will go to warehouses and click on warehouses and click on create so here i need to give a data warehouse name let me just say this is data warehouse one and here we can choose the size based on the size or uh, we get charged so now we can choose a small one credit per hour or small two credits per hour and this is the maximum size we have for x large 128 credits per hour so i will choose the smallest one since this is a demo database this is a demo session so and we can go to this auto suspend so here we can see five minutes or ten minutes so it will auto suspend the data warehouse if we want to increase the time limit so we can choose one hour two hours or if we don't want this data warehouse suspend at all then we can just select never so for now i'll just select five minutes and here we can see one more option auto resume so when we want to run anything, whenever we log into account, so it will automatically auto resume, like, you know, whenever we try to do any activity. So if we don't do any activity, it will automatically suspend the warehouse. And now we can add the comments. I will just say, this is a demo data warehouse. Now, before I click on finish, I will show you guys, uh, how to look at this um, SQL. So this is how like, you know, the SQL generates, the Snowflake generates this SQL. Create warehouse, data warehouse 01, and with the warehouse size, we, we choose this small size, and one credit per hour, and warehouse type standard, auto suspend, and auto resume. And here we can see all the comments. Okay, I will close this. And now I will click on finish. So now we can see our warehouse is ready to use. So here we can see other option, grant privileges. I will go over later, like you know, all this uh, in the next module. So in this module, we will just discuss the overview of this um, web interface. So once I create this data warehouse, now I will go through the other options here. So just select the warehouse. So here we can see that load over time everything. So we didn't do anything yet. So I will go back to warehouses. 
So now if we want to suspend this um, data warehouse, right? So I can just select this and click on uh, suspend warehouse. So here we get a, a pop-up window or ensure you want to suspend warehouse. So once I click on yes, then we don't see this. This is in suspension mode. So if I want to resume my data warehouse again, so I can go back to resume and select everything and we can always resize if we want. So we can always scale up, scale down. We can always resize in Snowflake. That is the advantage. So I will just keep it one credit per hour and finish. So now if we want to drop our data warehouse, right? So we can always click on the drop option. Click on drop option. And here we can see that are you sure you want to drop data warehouse? Uh, if we click on yes, then it will drop. Uh, if we click no, then you know, well, I don't want to drop the data warehouse now. So this is how we can create data warehouse and suspend data warehouse resume and also configure. So we can always resize it. If I want to resize it, two credits per hour. And if I want to change the auto suspension mode to 10 minutes, I can do that. And auto resume, I can eliminate this. So, and the comments also, I can change it. And click on finish. So now if I click here, then we can see like, you know, all the options. So we didn't start anything, executing query. So I will select again and go to configure and I will change back to my original configuration and keep it five minutes and auto resume and I'm gonna make the changes and we can always see the, the generated SQL, alter warehouse and set warehouse size and auto suspend everything. Okay, so let me finish this. I will just bring it back to our original configuration. So once we have these uh, warehouses ready, then we can create uh, databases under this warehouse. Now I want to create a database. So I will show you how to create database. And here on top of the interface, web interface, we can see databases, shares, data marketplace. So here I will select on databases. And here already some uh, Snowflake built-in databases available. If we don't want, we can drop it. Just click on drop. And but I will create a new database here. And just say database zero one and comment this is demo database and let's look at the generated sql so simple sql create database and just comment add it so let me create this database now if we want to create uh, if we want to clone it right so just we just need to okay i'll go back to databases just need to select on the database and click on clone option. So here I can see the clone option. I will just say database 01 copy. And what is the source? So I can choose any of these source so where I want to create, uh, where I want to clone. So I will select this database 01 and this is, I will add a comment. This is database 01 copy and let's look at sql create database and clone database 01 comment okay let me just finish this now we can see the copy of this database 01 let's go to database and now if i want to create a sample table right so i can go here and just click on create option so i will just say table 01 so here in this module, I'm not going like, you know, complete design table or anything. I just want to show you guys like, you know, how to create warehouses, uh, how this uh, Snowflake web interface work. So that's why I'm just going over all these options. So uh, let's uh, select a schema, so public schema and a comment, this is a demo table. And now, uh, we can add columns here, click on add. And let's say this is employee, employee ID. 
Now, what I want the employee ID, we can select these um, data types and we can see all these data types, Snowflake supported data types, a string, integer, timestamp, double, number, varchar. So in uh, other uh, next modules, I will go over this designing, how to design and manage tables and what are the data types we choose and how to improve performance, everything. So this is just a web interface um, uh, module. Okay, so now I'll just select integer for now and I will make it not now. And if I want to add one more column, I will just select employee first name. And go here and uh, select where char number of characters or I'll just make it a string. And I'll keep it not null or it's fine. So let me just add one more thing. So I will say last name, employee last name. And keep it. I'll just say not now for now. And let's look at the generated SQL. We're creating table and employee ID, first name and last name. This Snowflake works like, you know, same like our Teradata SQL Server, how our traditional databases work. So it's the same SQL. We don't see much difference. And now I will click on finish. Now I can see this table exist and then we will go like, you know, now we can clone the database and we can load the data into this table and we can drop the, the table if we want. So, but um, I will go over this in next module. So let's move on to next step. So let's go to this worksheets. So now I have data warehouse ready and databases ready. So how does uh, how these uh, worksheets work? This option provides a powerful interface uh, for entering and submitting SQL queries as well as performing DDL and DML operations and viewing the results side by side as our queries operations complete. So I will show you how to run ad hoc queries and other DDL, DML operations in a worksheet and load SQL script files and open worksheets and each with separate session. And we can always save and reopen worksheets. Okay, so let me, so here uh, I didn't discuss about the role. So here, uh, if I click on the user, right? So here we can see like, you know, we can change the password if we want, we can always change the password and just, this is the default role we log in and preferences we can choose. So now if you want to change the, the role, we can change it. I will discuss about these roles in uh, next module. So right now we can see the account info, everything. So I will switch back to uh, sysadmin default role. So here we can also choose the role, which role we want. So we can just select role and then data warehouse, which one we want. Oh, okay, this is in suspend mode. So we don't have to go to warehouses option to resume it. We can just click on resume. And also select the database, which one we want, like, you know. So I will go over, like, you know, the available schemas already. So what we have. So let me click on Snowflake sample data. So here we have almost about um, uh, 10 schemas available. Uh, let me just go to this uh, call center schema. So here, uh, if I click on table, right? So I can see all the columns. What are the columns available in this? This is just like, you know, sample data, Snowflake sample data. So here we can see the columns, everything. If I want to see the data, right, I will just click on preview data. So here we can see all the data that we have available. And also the details, like, you know, the column fields. If you want to maximize this window, just go all over on the right. And here you can see maximize result. So here we can see the maximize results and uh, columns, everything we can choose. and this is, these are all the columns exist in that call center table. Let me minimize and let me switch to data option and maximize this. So this is the data we have call center ID and just 
expand this window you can see keys everything so let me minimize this now if i want to run a sample query right on this database so now i want to go here and data warehouse and database option i will say snowflake sample data and here we have to be very careful like you know if i select schema information schema and try to run the data from this let me just select start from call center right so, and we get error because the call center doesn't exist in information schema so now how to change this i will come here and go here schema and select the right schema now if i run this query then i can see the data everything here and you can see the sql and okay so now uh if you want to create a new worksheet just click on this worksheet then we can do the same thing and we can open number of worksheets if required if we don't want just close this worksheet now i will go to history so here under history we can see all the queries that we ran or uh, include client generated statements or include queries executed by user task this slip page allows us to view and drill into the details of all queries executed in the last 14 days and this page displays a historical listing of queries, including queries executed from SnowSQL or other SQL clients. We can perform the task in this page, like filter queries displayed on the page, or scroll, scroll through the list of displayed queries. And we can also about a query that has not completed it. Uh, we can see that about a query that has not completed it and view the details of a query including results of the query the query results are available for a 24 period this limit is not adjustable so now if i want to see the queries that run in a warehouse right i can select and i can select this warehouse and let me see what are the queries executed by user task i will just select this option and these are all the queries that i ran and this data warehouse you can see the time and everything and just select the query and you get more details like you know uh, success and user data warehouse everything you can see okay and the profile so i will go back to history and if i want to see include client generated statements i can just click on client generated and it will give all all queries executed within this data warehouse if you want to change the user we can change the user so we can always do the filter like you know however we want and select the snowflakes if we select a snowflake user and we can see let me just take so we don't see any queries under this user snowflake and we can always clear these filters if we don't want it and now you can add a filter on this click on this flash icon or you can click on this add a filter okay so we can just select it and uh, we can always about here like you know we can view the sql everything we, can, we have the option here hide filters view sql and about so in this module and so far we learned how to log into this snowflake web interface and uh, how to create the data warehouses and how to suspend the data warehouses, how to resume the data, data warehouses, and also how do we resize the warehouses um, in using Snowflake web interface. And we went through like, you know, how to create databases and how to create sample tables, how to clone the databases. And we were also discussing about um, how to or run the queries and look at the table fields and the sample data and how to uh, start the data warehouse if it is in suspension mode and we are we discussed on this history also yeah if you have any questions on this snowflake web interface please post them in the comments 
and uh, in next modules we will discuss a little deep on these uh, data warehouses and the databases and how to design the tables what are the table types and what are the roles of, uh, like you know we will discuss about sys admin and account admin all these roles and uh, we will we'll like you know i will show you how to load the sample data and all this stuff like you know i we will do more ddl and dml operations in the next module so if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you